I'm Oren Sofer, I'm a cinematographer. Last year I co-DP'd the film The Creator and I DP'd the short piece Becoming, shot at the Getty Center and sponsored by Sony. The goal was to make a short film that not only highlighted the Sony Venice 2's image quality and performance of the camera, but also to make a piece of art. We put two limitations on ourselves. One was natural light, exclusively, and the second one was the smallest crew absolutely possible. It's impossible not to notice the kind of stark contrast created within the architecture of the Getty Center. Knowing that we weren't going to add any artificial light, you kind of have no choice but to embrace the natural. There's sort of two approaches there, which is to try and hide from the hard light, shoot only in shadow or only in kind of shaded areas. I just find that kind of visually less interesting than you know, the harsh contrast that you get with a hard edge light just coming in from a shaft of light. We were also quite ambitious, I think, in our attempts to shoot out this whole location in one day and, and get as much variety as we could. Having the small footprint to move around and no lighting to kind of bog us down was a, a real key to kind of getting the project done in one day. The more time you have to actually shoot on set, the more options you get, the more opportunities you get to refine a move or a certain shot and the more variety we get in the final piece. To me, the Venice 2 is kind of the Swiss army knife of cameras. In the piece, we shot a multitude of different camera configurations, including Steadicam, handheld, and traditional tripod shots. And having a camera platform that can very easily switch between all three configurations was really key to streamlining our speed and efficiency during the day. We were also shooting high speed, and we were also shooting in low light at the end of the day. All of those features inside one camera system ticks every box for what we needed for a shoot like this. Shooting on the Sony Venice 2 is the freest I've ever felt as a director. We knew because of the breadth of the sensor that once we got into DI, we could dial the image into where we wanted it to be. So that gave us total freedom. The internal NDs are the key that unlocks the whole piece. You know, we're kind of shooting non-stop golden hour into dusk, into night, without really slowing down. Being able to kind of ride the ND as we go through the day is really, really important and not having to deal with glass filters. We shot on really beautiful anamorphics and we wanted them to flare, so why put a matte box on it to get in the way? We also then switched to the 3200 ISO base during our night sequences and seamlessly transitioned from our blue hour into night at the push of a button. Again, having a camera platform that is able to just address all of these technical needs. Internal NDs, shooting on different anamorphic formats as well as its low light capabilities and its color science without having to compromise on image quality that you expect from the highest end cinema camera. The Venice 2 kind of has it all. 